I've been treated as this. The wrong car, the wrong drawing room. Next, there will be the wrong train. Maybe I'm not on a train even. Oh, yes, ma'am, you... Be still. I am talking. What is the matter with him? A stupid old cabeza dura. Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Dr. Lane. I thought... It is none of your business why I try to kill myself. I am not noisy inside. I am only noisy outward. I am Bolivian. Well, that probably explains a great deal. See, si. It is a country of very high altitudes. I hate men. I have loved three men in my life. The trouble is, they loved me. What was so troublesome about that? I killed them. The law simply doesn't allow people to run around loose who have killed three men. The way I do it, the law do not care. How did you do it? I kissed them. That is all. And they die. All my life I have tried to keep away from men. But there is something about me. That's quite obvious. So I kill myself. I remove me as a menace. Alora, do you know what a psychiatrist is? Oh, yes. They are people who are always peeking into other people's heads when people do not know they are peeking. Uh, yeah, uh, well, something like that. If I could only have page one for myself. He was my favorite of them all. I just make him up from my head. Oh, but he is so wonderful. Well, tell me all about him. He's tall, like all men should be. And he has a very cute mustache. Dr. Lane, who is that man? Oh, Michael Kent. Now I have a name for him. He is page one. He... I recognize him immediately. Why must I go to bed to take my lesson? It's simply that the flow of thought is easier when the body is horizontal. Now, if you'll just tell me any thought that comes into your head. Oh, Dr. Lern. What is happening? I'm just testing your reactions. I thought for that, Dr. hit you in the knees. Spotlights I react to very happily. I hate men. I want you to go back to the first man you ever kissed. How can I go back to him? He is dead. He waited four whole days. Waited four days. Then the truck ran over him. And you were blamed by those someones for their death. Once a sweetheart. Twice a sweetheart. And once a mother. She was so awful. She screamed at me and said his death was my punishment for taking him away from her. You would not believe it. There are no free men in the world. Every man belongs to someone. Girls, sisters, mothers, daughters. There are so many women in the world owning men. You would not believe it. Otherwise, he wouldn't even see you when you came along. He would not. Not even me. Not even you. Now, will you, will you give it a try? Will you kiss a man who's attracted to you and take my personal guarantee for it that he will not drop dead? What man? Any man. You've got to look upon him simply as a cure, like a box of aspirin. Dr. Len, mm -hmm. I am having a terrific reaction. You are? It is page one. Right from heaven. Laura, this is Mr. Kent. You remember Mr. Kent? But I told you, he is page one. On what? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. Laura says the oddest things all the time. She's Bolivian, you know. Oh. What do you mean by that? I am leaving. I am never coming back. I will send to you a check. Now, wait a minute, Laura. Why are you leaving? You've crossed me double. You are getting into my box of aspirin. I want you at my apartment tonight, sharp at eight o'clock, dressed to kill. Oh, I don't mean that literally, of course. It's just that I want you to look very beautiful. That I cannot tell. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Dr. Lane is giving me an aspirin with a very gay moustache. I see. And if you cure me, I will give you everything in the world. I will even give you $10,000. I will send you so many lilacs, they will smother you alive. You will hate lilacs. <laughs> Forgive me for not rising, but the thoughts flow more easily when the body is horizontal. They do? Why? That has never been explained to me. Would you like to sit here by me? Uh, no, thanks. I'm very comfortable right here. You are not very helpful. Helpful? See, si. You should remember the man who let the mosquito bite him. I should? Why? He was a great humanitarian. Yeah, but he died, didn't he? Yes. But that is the risk you must take. I don't get it. Oh, you will. And I hope you will be able to take it. Tonight she is an imitation duck. She's a what? Oh, uh, what you call a, a decoy to lure you here for me. You are afraid of me. Afraid? Why should I be afraid of you? Oh, you have every reason. Skull. 
I am not here to score. I am here to make page one come true. I wrote the book. You are page one. Really? And what did I do on page one? You make love to me. So I think we better eat. Yes, sir. Eat? Coward? She prescribed you. She what? To cure me. To cure you? Of what? Killing everyone I kiss. It is a thing I have to get over. Bad habit. Doctors are not allowed to sleep when people have trouble. I have large trouble. Please don't bother me anymore tonight, Mr. Kent. Oh, he bothers you, does he? You admit it. He waited for you. I was sitting in the taxi watching. It is you he wants, not me. Men are so stupid. I do not want someone else. I want him. Well, you can't have him. The experiment wouldn't have any teeth in it. I would just as soon have him without teeth. Well, it wouldn't prove anything. It is very strange. Today you talk me into him. Tonight you talk me out from him. You do not want him. Or do you? Are not you overdoing it, the little doctor? It is very clever of you to have it all arranged so soon. Have what all arranged? This. It is very obvious that now you belong to somebody. Yes, he does. So now the experiment will have his teeth in it. Marry. Hey, yes, isn't that ridiculous? You marry so him you for see... me? I did not think you would go that far. Oh, you are a very good doctor, Dr. No, 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 I'm not. I mean, I did not. I, I mean, he, he tricked me into it. So oh, that is funny. Where are you going? Make that test run. You are going to cure me? 